What's going on, Shinigami Clan? Um, so I'm bringing you guys week seven, I believe, of the IBL. This time we were actually doing it post com because I had a lot of stuff happening. I was only able to record the battle. Uh, but we're up against Kason. I decided to bring uh, Dando Dandozo. I'm looking at. Uh, I just finished my battle against um, Shadow Galley for uh, week eight. I think that's what it was. I, I don't remember the weeks. Um, and he had a, uh, spoilers, he has Dozo. Uh, but he brought Donovan, um, what am I doing? <laughs> I brought Donovan, Weavile, Urshifu, Clefable, uh, Gudra, and Iron Moth. This is the team I made over the team that I had against Skirt. I dropped a bunch of those Pokemon, I dropped a bunch of the Pokemon, mine is Clefable and Donovan from that roster and brought some other stuff. But yeah, we're up against Kason, coach of the, where are you? Oregon Golducks. Uh, his team consists of Dragapult, Quackleville, Iron Treads, Incineroar, Noivern, Iron Thorns, Yuxi, Umbreon, Zorg, Hisui, Swalot, and Bulbasaur. His terror captains are Noivern, Thorns, and Bulbasaur. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought he would probably have wanted to bring Incineroar. This match, which is why you see an adrenaline orb on the Shifu, because I believe it was a sword stance, um, searching strikes, uh, close combat, and some other stuff, uh, Shifu with adrenaline orb so we can get the speed uh, to potentially deal with the pulp, but uh, with Ice Spinner, I believe, as well. But we got um, Donphan, Weavile, or Shifu, Clefable, Gudra, and Iron Moth on our side here. You guys might also be seeing the mouse, I'm not sure. And he brought Thorns, Hisarine Zoroark, um, Pult, Noivern, Treads, and Umbreon. Uh, this is the first time I, I'm actually ever doing post so I don't know who, what we do here. Um, I think I led with Weavile? I, I can't really remember. Uh, I could be wrong. I probably led with something else. Noivern, what? Gudra, that's what it, it was. Um, what? I wanted to. I think right here I was calcing to see what it is I wanted to do. Uh, and ultimately, I decided to swap out to Fable to get the um, Boom Burst read. However, I. Uh, Boom Burst, Draco Meteor read. However, I think he went U turn here. Yeah, he goes U-turn here. Again, this is the first time I'm ever doing post-com. Hopefully, I can do a better job if I ever have to do it again. But we'll see. Uh, he ends up swapping out his... Into his... Not pull Treads, I believe, here. I believe he... His Treads. Or Umbreon to uh, Toxic. Uh, one of the two. But yeah, uh, this was the first match with the new team. When I was fighting Gur, I had to use the old team uh, that I ended up taking over. By the way, our um, record is not the best, but perfectly fine. Me full. Okay, yeah, it was the Umbreon to potentially get a poison off. I believe I end up swapping out into my Moth here. As he goes for a Thunder Wave, actually, I believe. He didn't, he wasn't bringing uh, T Spikes. Uh, T Spikes, what the fuck? He wasn't bringing Toxic, he was bringing Thunder Wave Umbreon. Pretty sure we uh, dodged the first para, then we go for Fiery Dance a few times. Yeah, we dodged this Thunder Wave, we go for Fiery Dance. As he uh, goes for Thunder Wave again. No, we go for Dazzling Gleam. I think I was debating to go Fiery Dance or Dazzling Gleam. I believe I go Dazzling Gleam. Do about... Oh, we go Fiery Dance. Never mind. We do a decent amount. I believe... Almost half. Uh, and then uh, he goes for Thunder Wave as we get paired. And then I start spamming Dazzling Gleam. To the point where I decided to set, go up for another Fiery Dance. In which we get a second boost, I believe. 
Oh, never mind. That was wrong. We won't do like, what was, what is it, 25? Maybe? Yeah, there's the Thunder Wave. We could pair it. We got the attack. We got the special attack boost, however, so we go for Dazzling Gleam here. Oh, never mind. I don't remember the battle. <laughs> we go for Agility. As he goes for Foul Play, I think? Wish. Okay. That's what it was. I go Dazzling here? Yes, I do. Uh, I believe I go for Dazzling like three times and then I go for another Fiery Dance and then I go back to Dazzling. I could be wrong. There's the Berry, which I believe was the Citrus. And then he gets back to full with the Wish. Foul play, there it is. I think I do click agility once more, however. At some point, oh, I go fire dance there. Hoping for another boost, of course. But I got para. I, I think I do go for another agility at some point in, in this little uh, fight against this Umbreon. It was a good, it was a, it was a, it was a pretty long fight. Against the Umbreon. I think I only got Paralyzed twice and that was it. After that I was basically decent. For a good amount of time. The Fire Dance again. Stat the boost. There it is. And then we just Dazzling Gleam here two more times. Or I go Agility here thinking he has. Never mind. I'll go Fire Dance again. Foul play. Uh, but yeah. Uh, doesn't gleam, I believe, does kill here now. Yeah. He then goes out into his... What is it that... His Iron Thorns, which is not what I thought it was. Uh... I thought it was a loaded dice Iron Thorn set, but I was wrong. As I go for a Sludge Wave, predicting him to Terra either into an Electric or some other stuff, I believe. Uh, by the way, his Northern is Dragon Normal Steel, his Thorns is Electric Fair Grass, and Bulbasaur is Grass, Steel, and Fire. It is funny he has a Bulbasaur. It is. He's taking his time to uh, think of what it is he wants. Uh, do remind, I should remind you guys, I am speed booster and agility. So, like, yeah, I am paired, but if I'm not mistaken, my speed is still somewhat faster. Like I said, he goes out to his um, thorns here as I go for a Terra Blast. Not what the fuck. As I go for a sludge wave, um, I don't know what I'm doing over here. And we get the kill, which is crazy, because uh, damage couch is what I'm looking for. Damage calculator. Iron Moth. Speed with... Plus two is 10.05. However, I am paralyzed. Goes to 5.25 still. But yeah, as I said, we get the kill, which is crazy because it's a fucking Zoroark, not a fucking whatchamacallit. Which is honestly wild that uh, his. I believe he said that he had a scarred Zoroark. Uh, Zor I'm pretty sure it was a scarf Zoroark. Which was a speed tie. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it was a speed tie, guys. That's crazy. We actually outspent that. We actually won the speed tie there and got the kill. And then I believe now he goes into his actual Iron Thorns. As he goes for a... I, I want to say Dragon Dance. Uh... 
That's what I want to say. That he did. Because I don't think he went into his polter treads. Actually, no, I think he goes into his treads and clicks EQ here. Yeah, there it is. He does. No, okay, so yeah, he goes into his thing. I honestly feel like I should have Dazzling Gleamed here out of every anything else, but it's fine. Actually, you know what? I think he doesn't play Dragon Dance. I think he just goes straight for uh, Earthquake. Yeah. Down goes our Moth. Uh, let's see. I think I go out into my Gudra here, I want to say. Okay, I go out to my Shifu. But yeah, like I said, it was uh, Swords of Dance, Ice Spinner, Close Combat, and uh, Surging Strikes. I think I clicked Surging Strikes here. Again, I had the Adrenaline, adrenaline Orb thinking he was going to go uh, bring his... Um, fucking, what do you call it? I believe he goes into his... Oh, okay, he went into his Neuvern. Don't we kill? Didn't we kill this thing with that? No. Okay. Um. I think I go ice spinner here and kill. As he goes for either hurricane and misses or Draco and misses. I believe it was hurricane though and he misses. I believe that's what it was. And I think I got a total of four fully paras, which is crazy. Could have been three. Might have miscounted. Uh, but yeah, we met, like, the hurricane miss from this Moivern was big. It was honestly fucking big. Very big. Very, very big. And then we just click Ice Bear and get the knockout here. But like I was saying, yeah, the uh, Adrenaline Orb was there for the Incineroar in case he wanted to bring it. Which, I mean, it's fair. Like, it takes care of five. Yeah, five of my Pokemon. Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe a little bit more. It takes care of Rasheed. Like, Takes care of Weavile, Leaves, Galvantula, I don't Terra, Bramble, and Moth because it gets Earthquake. I, I'm pretty sure it gets Earthquake. If not, it probably gets like Stomping Tantrum or something like that. Uh, anyways, I go on into Clefable here because what I want to do is paralyze the Pult because that is his biggest threat. The Pult is his biggest threat. He didn't bring Quackleville, so I wasn't worried about it. I really wanted to paralyze this thing, however. I believe I go for Flamethrower here, predicting him to swap out into his Treads. Because I did not want to reveal the Thunder Wave yet. As he goes for Light Screen, I was like, okay, hold on. There might be... I might still be able to paralyze this thing. Hold on, he didn't swap. He might not want to swap now. So I could go for T-Wave. <sighs> However, with T-Wave being 90%, we... We, um... We, uh... Come on, game. <laughs> come on, game. Come on, game. Broski, come on, game. Come on, man. Come on. God, bunch of... Uh, again, we could have gone for that again, but he goes for Hex. And unfortunately, with Thunder Wave being 90%, we managed to actually hit it. <laughs> and the Dragon Pult has now been parried. 
Meaning, Urshifu can manage to take this thing out. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> uh, however, I go ahead and I believe I go Moonblast here. Or I swap out into Weavile, one of the two. Gudra, okay. Because I'm pretty sure at some point we, I send out Weavile. I don't think I told you guys the new team. It's Ur uh, Rep Urshifu, Iron Moth, Weavile, Clefable, Iron Leaves, Galvantula, Gudra, Bramblegast, Donphan, and Bomberry. Uh Terra points, I believe, were 20. Uh, however, I chose Galvantula and Gudra to be my Terra Captains, which were 8 and 9 points. So, I only have 3 points left for Terra. So, can't really do much. I sent out my Gudra, predicting him to swap out into his treads, I guess. But we go into Gudra here as he Terra's into Fairy and clicks Dragon Dance, I want to say. As I go for Body Press. Is what I think happened here. Because I was predicting him to go for Terra Blast. While I, um. Terra, Bla Terra Blast for Fairy, which is why I Terra it into Steel. And I went for Body Press, however, I kind of forget that. Yeah, it's not the best. Oh my god, bro. I just finished eating. By the way, uh, so Skylar and I haven't seen this restaurant before, but it's basically Asian Chipotle. And honestly, that shit is fucking good, dude. I ended up having some Korean beef, some spicy chicken, uh, purple rice, which is the, which was, is the first time I've ever seen purple rice, and uh, white rice with some veg veggies and stuff. Honestly, it was pretty fucking solid. That shit was immaculate. But yeah, as it, like I said, I go for um, Terra Steel, completely forgetting that he showed us EQ. I could have gone Terra Water, but because of it being an electric type, I didn't want that, which is why I want Terra Steel. Because obviously, the only other Terra type we would have gone is... Um, honestly, I could have probably have just gone Terra, Bla Terra Blast here and killed this thing, but I want Body Press. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> Uh, as he goes for a uh, earthquake and kills, I'm pretty sure. Or I take two, one of the two. I'm pretty sure though it does kill after a plus one. I really should have thought about him, but like, let me bring Terra Steel, Terra Blast, Gudra, just in case. But again, I believe he goes EQ here and kills us. Fairly certain. Okay, cool. We live a little bit. We get rid of whatever item it is he has, which is the Lumberry. So Thunder Wave would not have helped there. However, he does manage to kill us with another EQ as we go for Weavile here, I believe, after Gudra goes down. And then I think... I think I hit triple axle. Either we go into Weavile or Shifu. But I do remember Weavile getting two kills. I believe it got two kills. Could be one. I, I, I don't recall. I do not recall. Pretty sure I go on to Weavile, not Don Fan. As we play triple axel. But yeah, I brought Choice Scarf just in case he wanted to have a D-Dance mod. And in case um, the, uh, what's it called? The uh, Dragapult wasn't Scarfed. We could at least outspeed it and deal damage. But yeah, we go triple here as we get the kill. I'm fairly certain is what happens here. 
Which, like, awesome for Weevil not missing the triple. Let's get it. And then I believe he goes out to his Iron Treads here. You could be wrong. I believe he does go out to his Iron Treads. Uh, in which case, I believe I swap out into either Shifu or Clefable. Kason is most likely uh, calcing stuff to see what what's going on with what. Uh, if I do remember correctly, I believe his treads was Rocky Helmet, which is like bonkers because Triple Axel and uh, and Surging Strikes would have done Buku's amount of damage. Yeah, I think I do decide to sag Clef. Bada bing, bada boom. Did we even have rocks up? I don't think we had rocks up. Love these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just sat Clef here to get us clean swap in on Shifu. Pretty sure that's what happened. And then I go out to Shifu, click, uh, sword stance. Oh, he stayed in. Uh, he clicked EQ. It does kill. But yeah, we, I believe we go into Shifu. I click sword stance as he clicks. Earthquake? No, he swaps out into his Dragapult. I think that's what happens here. He swaps out into his Dragapult. I'm, I'm, I'm like 60% sure he swaps out to his Dragon Pult as I click for Searching Strikes. Do some damage. Then we click Ice Spinner and kill. I'm pretty sure. And then he swaps back out into this. Okay, no. I was wrong. Never fucking mind. Searching Strikes. Like I said, he has Rocky Helmet, so we take big chips. And magically, we somehow managed to live after knocking this thing out and taking a, a good amount of damage from the helmet. But we go for uh, Ice Spinner here. I don't think it kills the pull. Or maybe it does. Does it kill it? I don't think it does. We'll see. We go Ice Spinner. Does it kill? Or does he get fully parried? Oh, he got a Willow Miss. Right. To be honest, he should have just gone for the kill here. With Hex. Like, I'm pretty sure it would have killed. But there we go. That was our battle for uh, against Kason for the IBL. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.